When that didn't work, he asked me to play a pregnant mom and her daughter. So he fucked both of them. It was scary. Welcome to the internet. Most likely the perfect song to introduce your journey. You, the newcomer, into exploring the world wide web. It's an important tool. It is also your source of entertainment, which is honestly what 95% of people use it for. However, just like what Mr. Burnham says, We've got mountains of content, some better, some worse. If none of it's of interest to you, you'd be the first. Sally, we will be looking at the worst side of things today. From where, you might ask? Well, of course, into the world of roleplay. <laughs> now to be specific, what type of roleplay am I talking about? Well, it is text-based. To make it simple, someone sends a quote in action, the next person works off of that. Obviously, there's a lot more to it, with different literacies, detail, yada yada yada. One day, I would like to make a full-on video about roleplaying, but that is for future me to handle. Anywho, roleplaying can be an awesome experience when you have the right person, story, plot, writing, and also communication. But when no one does any of these things, you end up in the bad roleplayer stories subreddit, which is what we are going to be exploring today along with other things as well. My name is Lofi Wi-Fi, and join me, my fellow breadloaf, of the side of bad roleplay stories from Reddit and also other communities. I hope you enjoy. Detailed and interesting starter. Oh yeah, sweet. And then you send in an even longer, more detailed reply. Disappears. Ah, oh, God, have I experienced that quite a bit uh, in my years of roleplaying. What was one moment where you looked at your screen like this? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, this should be good. Some random dude once asked me to make a group chat on Reddit with me. One of my partners in themselves so they could watch us do e <laughs> ERP. RP voyeurism. But from the fourth wall, that's a whole different <laughs> genius of what the fuck. I had an RP partner once in an MMO. We'll call them Bob. And so Bob had a stalker that had caused Bob a lot of trouble. The RP fizzles out of for some time, and one day, I get a Discord DM from someone I don't recognize. They said to the effect of, Bob wanted you to have this, and it was explicitly NSFW piece of art of our characters, me and Bob's. Ah, I asked Bob, and when they broke the news to me that they had a stalker problem. Oof. There were certain details in it that were way too specific for it to be random, so somehow they knew certain things about Bob and I's RP. And somehow they got my Discord too. I used to run a RP, a Tumblr RP for BSM stuff, master sub type of thing with a few other people. That's always a fun time. One of our other mods was super jealous in that they didn't play a sub to my master and was in full on rage mode and quit being a mod. I told everyone we need to change the login and whatnot, but I didn't have access to the main email, so I couldn't do it. They said it'd be fine, he wasn't going to do anything. Next day, entire Tumblr blog was gone. Hundreds of hours of work just gone. Dude had deleted it because he never asked to RP with me as a sub. If he asked and not just harassed my other partner, I would have RP with him as a master sub, but instead he just got super possessive, creepy, angry, and tried to take my cheese. I asked to do a fandom RP and made it very clear I was looking for a story-based roleplay. I got one response and it's some person who wants to derail my plot by turning into a fandom crossover ERP. That's yeah, usually how it goes. I found out that a friend was secretly using my OCs outside of our RP and writing for them with their friends as their own. When my roleplay partner of almost two years made their character rape mine after an Jesus! Had an RP partner try to control my character to make me drink a coffee mug full of blood from disease inmates. Roleplay with Sonic the Hedgehog. Someone's OC somehow punched Sonic, not very hard, just a little punch. And apparently, Sonic started bleeding to death. <laughs> he is also one like <laughs> I just physically cringe. Ooh, this should be good. Hey, darn, I'm up for some roleplay. What are your kinks and limits? Uh, the classic. Dane, writing this is making me realize how much I miss giving... 
I've only slept with women for the past few years, which I definitely prefer, but there is just something fucked up. Hot about. <laughs> thanks, th thanks for the info. Uh, cool. All right, you didn't have to say that. What's the worst roleplay experience you had? Which I posted on a roleplay, you know. And someone commented down one word, Fuda. So the first post we got, or the first DM we got is from this person called Adeline, which is, uh, may or may not be Sinia, uh, who, who is a cool person. Uh, the, let me tell you, their experiences is, uh, let's read. Worst experiences. This was around five years ago when I started roleplaying. I would have been 15. I just started roleplaying and was trying it out with a ex-friend. First thing I said was that I wanted it to be sweet. We were young and I wasn't comfortable with even the thought of sex. Duh. It started off as sweet romantic roleplay, but then all of a sudden he's a beast and is pushing his 14 inch dick into my character to the point it's coming out of her mouth. Oof. It's safe to say I was mortified and told him that this wasn't okay, considering we were underage and it's just disgusting, to which his response but it's just roleplay, it's not that big of a deal. I blocked him straight away. A big part of roleplaying for me is being able to immerse yourself into a completely different world that you can create with someone. But a huge chain is respecting people's boundaries and understanding that not everyone is comfortable with certain things. I was around 16, again, funny enough, had joined Amino. I was on the server where you could roleplay with anyone and meet new people. I met this girl who wanted to do a romance roleplay. She was 17 and I agreed. I don't know how my age, it's always on my bios, just so people at the time knew I was underage, and if they were over 18, I could avoid contacting them at all. This girl wanted to roleplay the sexual assault of a 12 year old, uh, where characters fall in love after assaulting- Jesus! 